Hi guys, I want to demonstrate my test setup for you. On this machine uh, is the, the test machine so much and this on, and the machine on the right is the workstation and the machine on the left is connected to the workstation by an ethernet cable and the workstation is connected to the internet by a Wi-Fi connection. So this is a work conversion machine and it's configured with the home page about blank so we don't want to have any uh, uh, we don't want to download anything. Um, it's in debug, so this is why I have a terminal. And I have this, I'm using a new feature where it logs to paper trail. So I can do um, a test uh, foo bar one, two, three, four. And that basically appears on a separate console here. So this is, gives me a bit of a logging uh, ability. So I want to demonstrate um, what Web Converger can do which is quite different to other Linux distributions. So Web Converger, this version here is running version 15 of Firefox. And typically, when there's an update to Firefox, you need to download an entire package. So here's a network monitor I have going here. And here I am downloading the uh, official 15.01 uh, supercompressed tar.bz2. This file is about 8... Uh, or so megabytes big. So it's a tiny little uh, change between 15.0 and 15.01 and it requires typically a Linux distribution to download at least 8 megabytes of data. As you can see I'm uh, logging the, uh, the traffic here. I can see how many bytes is coming in and out uh, through this, through this uh, interface on the workstation. So now we have a setup where we can actually tell what's happening and I'm going to demonstrate to you in the next video that um, using the git based updates is a far more efficient way to update your your operating system and this is what uh, Web Converger can natively do from version 15 pretty exciting okay guys I'm booting at Web Converger here and I've got the IPtraf ng running on the uh, on its network interface so we can see what it's going to do so this is the new git upgrade enabled web converger. So let's look for a network. Finds a network, you see all sorts of traffic going on it. You can see a GitHub is running immediately right there. You can see GitHub is also downloading here. And um, it's closed. Upgrade has been done. So we can see by looking at the logs what's exactly happened. Um, what am I looking for? So daemon log. Over here we can see successfully fetched version FAF. And it's, it looks like it's updated that, that particular version. We can see the current running version if you just go to about. So the current running version is 188C uh, 5B1, and now it, it has the update. I'm running in debug mode just to be a little bit more explicit about this. Of course, if without debug mode, this would just happen in the background. So, on reboot, we should get this new version, FAFB9. Uh, oh, and this new version, this is Firefox 15.0, and this new version will be 15.01, with any luck. And... Um, Oh, I'll have to look at the video for the for the, the amount of bytes that that GitHub transfer took, but it, I think it was quite small. Hopefully, around uh, 500k. I think I think the binary distribution's 18 megs, if I'm not mistaken. I have to double check that too. So here we have uh, Web Converger booting, and um, now it's going to mount the new Git uh, repo in the sense that the updated one, the one that it fetched in the previous boot and now it's mounting this new revision that we just downloaded. Here we go again, it's looking at GitHub, only 2500 bytes have been transferred. So I think it could probably, it's probably just looked if there was an update and found that there wasn't. So if we cat daemon log. See, successfully fetch FAF. Uh, already running FAF, no upgrade needed. So, 
what are we running now? As we can we have a look at the about colon. And we're running 15.01 FAFB98. This demonstrates that Web Converger has done a GIP, a Git um, style upgrade, and it's doing it very efficiently with a binary diff. So there you have it. There's a demonstration, and I hope you give it a try.